So in the previous video, you learned about the entity system. Now let's see it all in action by creating an article. So right here, I've got a Drupal site and I installed it using the standard installation profile. So that means that we'll get two content types out of the box, article and basic page. So if I go to content, add content, here I can see the two content types, article and basic page. If you click on article, you are then given the entity form. And here you can see the field widget. So for the body field, we have a text area form element. For the tags, we have a autocomplete form element. And for image, we have an upload field form element. So let me just quickly create an article. I'll just paste in some dummy text and let me upload an image. And I'll click on save and publish. Okay, now that the article has been saved, we can see the title, the image and and the text from the body field. And these are getting rendered using the field formatter. So in the previous video, I mentioned that a field has three parts, the field type, field widget, and field formatter. The field widget is used to enter in and control the value of the field using a form element. And here you can modify the text or you can upload a different field. And then, the field formatter is used to render and display that value. And here you can see that an image is displayed and the text from the body field is displayed. Now I also mentioned in the previous video about display modes and most importantly, the view mode. So if we go to the home page, you will see that we are given a cut down version or a teaser version of the article and that's because Drupal is rendering the article using the teaser view mode and you can configure the teaser view mode by going to structure content types and then click on manage display on the article row and here in the top left you can see three enabled view modes default RSS and teaser Default is used as kind of a fallback view mode. So if Drupal tries to render an article using a disabled view mode, it'll simply fall back to the default view mode. So then if we go into teaser, you can see that the teaser view mode has been configured to display an image, body, tags, and links field. And on the body field, it is only displaying the summary or trimmed version because with teasers, you don't want to display the whole body. That kind of defeats the point of a teaser. So that's it for this video. I hope you now have a better understanding of the whole entities and fields and content types and stuff like that.